Hi, I'm Loretta. Welcome. I'm happy to see you. I'm glad that you're with us. Um, let's begin by taking a few deep breaths. And what I'd like you to do is to look at your breath, pay attention to your breath, and see where you're breathing from. Are you breathing from your chest, your throat, your tummy? What we want to do is we want to start taking really long, deep breaths. Essentially, I like to take to the count of four as my in-breath. So I would say one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. As my, ex as my exhale. Now, the reason that's important is because sometimes it's not going to come all the way down to your tummy. But let's take a few deep breaths until we can actually feel the movement of our breath moving throughout our body, which means it's coming down through our throat and through our chest and all the way down to our diaphragm and to our tummies. And we can actually feel that. And as we do, we feel ourselves starting to expand. And that expansion is the feeling that, we, that yoga gives me. That's why I love yoga so much, is because of the expansion. When I'm done with yoga, I just want to talk to everybody and love everybody. But that's me. <laughs> what I'd like us to do is to continue with the breath a few times more. And take one more deep breath. And as you exhale, exhale out your mouth and let all of your air out. And then we're going to inhale and exhale to the sound of OM together. And then as you're gently sitting on the edge of your chair with your Feet, hips width apart, and your hands on your knees to begin with. Let's start with our arms. Let's bring them up and down, and up and down. Take a few more of these. Mm. And let's take one more and bring it down. And let's say, in your, with your hands in prayer position, bring them all the way up and out and down. And let's take a few of these. This will start really opening up those shoulders and those, uh, those sockets. And it also begins to open up our heart and open up our breathing and our lungs. It pulls it all together when we use our arms. We come on back to center and let's put our hands out and in. And out and in. Take a few more. One more. Last one. Out and in. And bring your hands back, and let's move on up to our shoulders. And let's begin by taking a few really good shoulder rolls. So let's begin. Going back, coming forward. Just roll those shoulders and start opening up that whole part of your upper torso. Take a couple more. Now stop at the back and go the opposite direction. Uh, this feels so good. This is where I always hear my shoulders. This is when I know what's going on. It really awakens me. And one more. Bring it back to center and then drop your hands by your side. And as you raise your shoulders up, Duck your head down. So up 
and down, up and down. Hmm. Two more. Last one, up and down. Now take your, take your wrists and let's turn them out. And as you turn them out, go ahead and, and um, expand your heart, expand your chest, and then turn them in and bring it in. It's sort of like a cat cow, but you're doing it from the wrists. And go ahead and take full advantage of that movement. And open up both back, upper back. One more. And come on back to center. And let's move up to our neck. Let's begin by doing our infinity circles, which are um, a figure eight turned on its side, or a race car track. What you want to do is you want to be drawing that. You're the race car. And you're going to follow your nose. And just open up the sides of your neck and see if you hear any cracking or any any sounds that are not necessarily signs of health. And then come on back and let's gently shake our head no. No, 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 no. And then stop and gently shake our head yes. How does, you, how does your neck sound? How does it feel? Let's take one more thing while we sit up really straight, drop our arms, really focus on laying our ear to our shoulder on each side. So begin when you're ready. Drop your ear to your right side. And just let it come as flat as it can. And feel the stretch in the side of your neck. Breathe twice. And feel the breath relax the neck. And gently come on back up. And let's go in the other direction. So take a deep breath in and drop your ear to your shoulder, keeping your shoulders down and loose. This is a neck movement. One more deep breath here. And come on back up. Now, before we get started doing the torso and the hips, what I'd like us to do is, I sometimes forget these, but I'd like us to take some pelvic tilts. And go ahead and put your hands in back of you on the chair. And I'm going to use, for me, it works best if I use my fists so that it kind of lifts me a little higher, lifts my back up. Then I'm going to gently tilt my hips and bring them back. You know the motion, the coup, the, the ones that you get after childbirth, those are what these are. Now, if you can, raise them up a little higher, like raise them up off your chair. If not, it's okay, just take your pelvis and thrust it forward and back and make it an entirely pelvic move. One more. And that particular motion brings the bottom of your body and the top of your body right here. It starts bringing it together. So let's go ahead and take a couple of our goddess circles. You can put your hands on your knees, come on to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side, making this a rib and chest motion. Take one more until we get to the back. And stop and go the other way. And take three of them. And go ahead and make it as juicy as you want, which means bringing it all the way back and stretching it all the way forward. And when we come back around, that's the end of this. So let's take our hands and let's start our circular motions turning them to our sides, touching our ribs and maybe our kidneys, mainly just saying hi to our body. I think sometimes when we come into a class, we rush in 
and we forget that we work slowly to open open ourselves wide open one place at a time and then bring your hand bring your right hand to your left knee drop your hand in back of you we're going to take some breaths some deep breaths and we're going to twist with our torso these are spinal twists so let's use this part of our body and try not to pull with our hand. If you find your knee coming closer to the other one, you're pulling. And, um, and if you find your head going all the way around to turn you, you're pulling. So what we really wanna do is we wanna use this mid torso and take our breath and use it to move us, turn. You can close your eyes, keep your head loose, take another breath and turn. One more breath and turn. Now, are you pulling your legs together? I see I pulled mine just a little, but come on back around and let's go to the other side. And it's a really good reality check on seeing where you're in, where your knee ends up when we're finished and your neck as well. So close your eyes, take a deep breath in and rotate. Deep breath, rotate, one more, you loose on your leg, shake your head a little and rotate, come on back to the center. I like circular movements. Um, let's go ahead and do our cat cows and let's begin in our cat position. And the cat position is where you drop your head and your shoulders, and you can almost feel your cat's spine as it does that really big howling cat move. And then bring your chest all the way through, bring it up, and here's the cow. Now, as you're in the cow, you feel your hips changing too. You feel them moving backwards in the cat. You bring them in. And then look how you extend them. See, you're extending them. Take a few more, get a rhythm. Go deep. Let's get some movement in the, the center of our body. Take two more. And come back to center. Um, Today, what I, I really want is I want to do some of the leg exercises standing up. So I'm going to go ahead and, and stand up, and, and, and I hope this isn't too soon for you, because some of the things that I, I've been reading a couple of new books, and I just wanted to try a couple of poses in it that would really awaken us. The first one I'm going to show you is take your hands and interlace them. Now, this is not a leg movement, but it is a really good stretch. Bring them to the back and make your arms straight if you can. And then um, take your chin and slowly raise your head and bring your head and your chest back as much as you can to feel that stretch in your upper back. And take a couple of breaths. And then gently bring your chin back down and your arms in. And then if you can do this, what I'd like you to do is take your hands and leaving them out. See if you can fold at the waist, fold at the hips, bring your arms up and out and back and tuck your chin and feel how your legs are getting that really great stretch all the way from your Achilles, from my toes, but my Achilles tendon all the way up through up to my hind end as well as my shoulders and my arms. And then take a deep breath. Use your ne next breath to come up. I hope that wasn't too hard for you, but I think it's a really worthy stretch to take. And now I wanted to show you a leg movement that I'm gonna, I'll throw in occasionally instead of our on the chair movements. And it's very simple. We're gonna stand next to our chair and we're gonna uh, basically stand firm on the leg next to the chair and use the other leg 
And we're just going to go out 10 in the front. Nine, 10. Okay, now we're going to take it back. One, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now let's take it to the side. One, two, let's take ten. Three, four, six, nine, ten. And let's come on back over to the other. While we're here, why don't we just go ahead and take that? Um, let's go ahead and take our our quad stretch. So take your leg and lift it up. And there's one thing I was going to show you. If you have if you have trouble holding your leg here, um, try to use a strap or a scarf or anything that you can put under that foot to hold it up, and it works really well. So take one more deep breath and let your leg down. And let's come to the other side. And let's begin standing straight, pointing out 10 times. This is um, to open those joints, essentially. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the socket, so, and backwards. Two, three. If you can stand without your chair, that's okay. Do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's kind of a balance and it's kind of an opening. So I just wanted to try it today. Let's go to the side. One, two, three, four. Eight, nine, ten. And then pick up your foot, bring it to the back, take the quad stretch, and take two breaths. And then let your foot come down. And let's take our, let's go to the other side again. Let's go ahead and do our warrior pose as well. We're at since we just opened that leg. But before we begin the warrior poses, let's go ahead and take our knee bends. So we're on the side and just bend them forward. And we're gonna take five, three, four, five. And then step back with one foot and make it the one furthest from the chair this time. Hmm. I'm sorry. Make it the one closest to the chair, and we'll go into a warrior one. Okay, so your foot comes back. It's pointed slightly diagonally. This is warrior one now, We're coming into the position. Your other foot is at the front where your chair is. This is a front, a front position. Bend your leg that's in the front so that your knee comes over your ankle, and this is a pulling and pushing move. With the back leg you're pushing, with the front leg, you're, with your front arms you're pulling, and you come back into almost, almost, um, almost a slight back bend, and your hands come straight up. You're coming up out of the ground. That's what the warrior one position is. Your leg stays bent and take a couple of deep breaths. Now, if you're having trouble with this, go ahead and drop your arm to your chair and raise the arm that's, that you're working with the front leg. And then come on back down. You can come down and use the chair, but we're coming over the leg into the humble warrior where you raise your hands up into the back and you place your torso over your knee. 
over your front knee. And take a couple of breaths. And then let's come on back up. Whoa. Use the chair if you want. And turn to the side into the star position. Then leaving your back foot where it is, facing the other wall, you are facing the chair. Turn your front foot again, bring it out a little, bend your knee over your ankle, facing your hips to the front of the chair or facing this way, the same way that your heel in the back is going. Line up those two heels if you can. Get your legs right. And then reach your arms out. And turn your head and look over that front hand. And take a few breaths. Two more breaths here. This brings stability and strengthening of those legs. One more. And then drop the back arm, raise the right arm, bring it up over your head, look under your armpit, and breathe. Reverse leg. One more breath. And then come on back down and come into the star position. And bring your legs together. Let's do the other side. Okay, let's take our, our knee bends. So we're just going to do five for position. Just kind of bending them and making them aware that we're about to use them. All right, then with your foot closest to the chair, step back. And this is a forward position. Your foot can be slightly angled so that your toes are just slightly pointed out. All right, your front toe comes forward. Spread it out a little if you have wider hips especially so that you have space to come back down in here. And then bend your knee overwards, over your ankle, Lift your arms, come on down and scoop up. Pushing with your back leg, scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop it up, and come up. And breathe. One more deep breath here, in and out. Now as you inhale, come on down. You can use the chair and bring your leg, bring your arm back, bring your torso over your knee. Balance yourself well. And then if you can raise your arms, that's great. Bring them back. And breathe. Humble warrior. And then come on back up. And turn to the star. Warrior two is taking your foot, that's in the position it's in, lining up your heels, bringing your foot a little, your front foot a little bit more forward so that your knee can be over your ankle. Your hips are facing towards the chair. Raise your arms and turn out over your over your fingertips and breathe. Take a few deep breaths here. Warrior two. The trick is to keep your hips pointed in one direction while your legs are going in the other. All right, drop your back arm, raise your front arm, bring it up and over. Reverse warrior. Your hips are still pointed towards the chair now. You've still got your front leg bent. And you breathe. Your heart's open. Mm 
Bring your arm back down. Bring your hands back up and take the star. Okay. Now there's um, there's several things I'd rather do on the chair for you today too. So let's make that our leg movement for, for today. And let's focus on our hands. I know a lot of us are having trouble when the weather changes. My hands in particular start aching. And I'm gonna bet there's quite a few other people who that happens to. So first of all, let's take our hands. Let's do our, our lotus flower where you join your pinky fingers, turn it to the back and bring it up. And we're gonna do five rotations, that's four. There's the fifth one. Turn it in reverse order and come down. And work your way back down your body. And bring your hands back together. Bring your fingertips together. And let's take our spider on the mirror doing push-ups, which is out and in, and out and in. Take a few more of these. One more. And bring your hands back down. Take um, one of your hands, extend it out, and use your other hand to flatten your fingers and get the nice stretch in your wrist. And pushing your fingers down with your other hand. Now, this is gentle. Please be very gentle with this because if you have sore hands and wrists anyway, you don't want to take them to the limit. You just want to get that nice stretch. And take two more breaths. And then bring your hand up and take the wrist bend backwards where you're moving your fingers backwards, pushing with your opposite hand. So take a couple of breaths here. Go ahead and drop it, and let's do the other hand. Bring it down, press your one hand over the fingers and get the, like I guess really the best, you can bend your elbow. I think that gives me the best stretch all the way through. And I'm gonna take a couple of breaths here, so let's do that. And turn it over and raise it up. And let's do this for a couple of seconds and take a couple of deep breaths here. And feel yourself opening with the breath. Use your breath to integrate it. One more breath. And you can let it go. And shake your hands, shake your fists. Okay, uh, one thing I really have been in the mood to do, which we haven't done a lot of, is thread the needle. So let's take our hand and place it on our knee. Uh, take our right hand on our right knee, or any way that works for you. If you have trouble following right and left, then do whichever. We're going to do both sides. So whichever side fits for you best from the beginning. Raise your other arm, lift it up, bring it back down, and thread it through the hole. Drop your ear to your knee. Take your hand that's on your other knee, bring it back, snake it up, and reach it out to the front. And reach as much as you can with this feeling, with these fingers, so that it's applying with this hand, with the relaxation with this hand. Both sides of the body doing something a little differently, but supporting each other wholly. Take your arm back to your hip, bring it back down to your knee, lift yourself back up, bring the arm up, and bring it back down to complete the movement. And let's do the other side. So raise your arm up, bring it back down and through the hole, bring your ear down to your shoulder, your shoulder as close to your knee as you can get. Bring the hand that's on your other knee back up and out to the front. 
Relax your, relax the ear on the knee. Pull forward with the other hand. Stretching and relaxing. Working together both sides of the body. Bring your arm back, bring it to the knee, lift this arm up, and bring it back down. And while we're there, I know this is a little bit out of out of uh, out of sequence for me today, but there's a few things I wanted to bring in, and and within the next couple of weeks, I'd like to introduce just a few more things before um, while we're opening up and getting a new practice put in place. So let's take our side bends. So put one hand behind you, bring the other hand straight up. Feel your energy, wiggle your fingers, know how big you are, feel how, how bright you are, and then take a deep breath and bend to the side as deeply as you can. And take a couple more deep breaths here, bending to the side, keeping your heart wide open with your arm under your armpit. Not collapsing, one more breath. Bring that arm back down and let's go to the other side. Arm up, hand in the back to hold you. Wave at yourself. This is me, this is my energy, yay. I'm gonna envelop myself in it. So take a deep breath and you envelop yourself. And bend deeply. Look under your arm, keep your heart open, and breathe. Two more deep breaths. Last one. And bring your arm back down and come to center. And just because I'm not sure how your legs are feeling, Let's take our legs, bring our knees together, spread them out as far as we can, and still touch our knees, and let's take our windshield wipers, bring them out, bring them in. Bring them out, go on the sides of your feet, bring them in. One more. And then let's bring our legs together, and let's, um, Let's cross one leg over the other, one, one ankle over the other, and let's do a, a forward bend over our knees with our torso folding at the hips and coming down as far as we can, letting our arms drape. So deep breath in and hinge at the hips. Come on down, let your arms, let your head hang. Tuck your chin, let your arms hang. And breathe. One more deep breath. And then bring yourself back up. And let's cross the other ankle and do the same. Take a deep breath in. You can raise your arms and hinge the hips and come on over your lap and drop your arms and tuck your chin and breathe. And then if you're ready, come on back up. And um, let's take a wide-legged, a wide-legged spread, okay. Um, I think a wide leg could spread with your feet pointing forward and let's fold, our, fold over one vertebrae at a time coming down into the center. So here we are. Deep breath in, tuck your chin, roll down one vertebrae at a time until so you hit your knees and then you can bring your hands down and bring your hands to the center. Now, if you can touch the floor with your palms, that's great. If you can touch the floor with your, with your fists, that's great. If you have trouble coming down this far, 
Come as far as you can and hold your legs and feel the stretch of your inner thighs from this motion. And take a couple of breaths. Bring your hands out to your feet. Come on back up. With your chin being the last thing to come up. Now take your feet, move them in just a little. And we're going to take a goddess pose where our heels are pointed in and our toes are pointed out. And they're approximately the width of the chair apart. Sit on the edge of your chair really, really cleanly. And then raise your arms pointed straight up. Straighten your back, take a deep breath in, make sure that you're pushing out on these inner thighs as you do this, and let's take a couple of breaths and open ourselves up. Goddess pose. One more deep breath here. And now, as we take a breath, breath in, let's go. Keeping our legs out still. Ha. 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 One more. Ha. Bring your hands out. Bring it back. Bring it in. And let's just take a couple of circles. They can be from the waist or the shoulders. They don't have to be our our ribs doing the motion right now. Let's just, let's take it with our shoulders. And just kind of roll them around. And then as we come to the back of this one, let's go the opposite direction. Just loosening up because it's just about time for Shavasana. And I want us to be able to be as comfortable and as open as we can be for this. And it's time for the relaxation. So let's get comfortable on the chair. Wherever you're at, try to keep your feet planted. Um, I like to begin Shavasana with about, personally, about five deep breaths. And that brings me into my body. And then I let my breath go. And I let the relaxation that the breath and the integration of the energy has created take over and help me to melt. I'm asking you to try to melt. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but if you can envision that feeling of just one part moving into the other, moving into the other until you're totally integrated, that's the part I'm looking for. So let's take some deep breaths. Close your eyes. I'll let you know when it's time to come back. I'm going to be more quiet. So let's close our eyes and take the breaths and then let yourself go. And let yourself go as far as you can let yourself go. And I'll call you when it's time to come back. So... Here we go. Let the breath relax you.
And then from wherever you are, come on back and bring all of you. Bring all of you together as in your being, your breath, your body, your mind. And see what you need to just be fully present and fully awake and fully aware. Maybe you want to hug yourself. Maybe you want to hug down low. Maybe you want to stretch. Oh. All good things. Oh. And as we bring our practice to a close, let's go ahead and take our breath and chant our own and end it together. So one deep breath in and exhale everything out your mouth, all your air. The second one, breathe it in and exhale with the own. So here we go. I want to thank you for coming. And I what I'd like to read is something that I found that somebody says about the word namaste. And as we close this practice, and I let you know that the winter teacher in all of this brings us together and keeps us together and directs and guides us each on our own human level. And here's the namaste saying, my soul honors your soul. I honor the place in you where the entire universe resides. I honor the light, love, truth, beauty, and peace within you, because it is also within me. In sharing these things, we are united. We are the same. We are one. Namaste. Thanks for coming. I really, really, really am having a lot of fun with this, and I hope you are too. See you next week.